Hi, George here. Sometimes when you're working with still images from video, you may have something with a green screen background like this. Pretty easy to take out, but there are a few things you can do to make this a bit easier. Notice these weird kind of white pluses back here. These are registration marks that are taped onto the background. They're out of focus right now. We can get rid of those first. We can also kind of even the tone down a little bit here. The big problem here, of course, is that we have green here, green down here, and kind of yellow green in the hat. So we use the magic wand, but we'll try to limit it to this area in here. So let's start off by doing just a little bit of clone stamp just to clean this up, maybe even just do some painting. I think that's all we have to do. Grab the eyedropper tool, click out here someplace, grab that green and the paintbrush. And before we do anything, go over here to the right hand side, right click where it says background and duplicate layer. Choose OK and hide that background. That's because we're going to be painting right on this layer here. So I want to have that as a safety. OK, so now just paint out that spot right here. Be careful right in there. There we go. Hold the space bar down to move the image. We'll do the same thing with these. It's a bit off on the color. Let me just grab a new shot right there. There we go. And paint that out. That's better. Okay, same thing up here. It's a little tricky right up here. It's right up against that hat. So in this instance, I'll come in and make a selection. Just a fast one using the polygonal lasso tool right around the hat here. This is called a protection mask. And we'll just make just a little bit like that in and out and around and back to the beginning again. There we go. We can now work inside this. Same thing, grab the eyedropper tool, grab just some color out here someplace and paintbrush. And then we'll paint that back in. It's a little off. Let me try that again. I'm going to change my sample size down here in the color picker down to a three by three average instead of just a single point. That should help us. Okay, I'll try that one more time. That's better. There we go. Okay, control D to deselect and use the space bar again to move things over. Same trick over here. Click outside someplace like that. Back to the paintbrush tool and let's just paint that out. And that's close enough. It's a bit dark up in the corner. I'm just going to extend this painting right up into that corner. This will make it easier for the magic wand. It won't have to be quite as exact on that. Here we go. Let's just check this side over here. Same thing here, a dark corner. So grab something out here just a little ways. Back to the paintbrush and then we'll just paint up into that corner and get rid of that darkened area. Again, this will make it easier. More of an even tone this way. Okay, let's take a look around. One more thing right down here. Eyedropper just outside and paintbrush and let's do that. There we go. Okay, let's now back out to fit on screen and we'll see how we do. Now it's a lot lighter down here than it is up here, so we'll have to adjust that. What I'm hoping is we can use the magic wand up here, get this green and not get into the shirt. If it gets into the shirt, we may have to do something a little bit differently, but we'll try this first. Click on new. I have mine set for 10 on the tolerance. That's fine. And contiguous. That's fine. Click in here. And actually did a real nice job. It missed a little bit right up here at the top. We can fix that. Let's just zoom in on that. And then space bar. So a few little spots in here. Now you can Use different tools as you're doing this. I'll go back here to this and let's just grab the selection brush tool. I want to add to my selection and let's bring our brush size up so we can see that. It's pretty good. Now let's paint right over those little spots in there. And we'll add those into the selection. There you go. Get that corner. A little bit here next to the hat. Let me just grab that right in there. That's good. And we'll, dip. we'll check that corner. We'll check down here. That looks fine. Look good over in here. Okay. Let's come back out to fit on screen. Now I've selected this area back here. What I really want is to have him selected. So go up to select, come down to inverse, and now he's selected. And that allows us to make a layer mask. That's our button right here. And that removes that background that easy. Now there'll be a little bit of a green halo around this. Let me just zoom in a bit here. You can see there's a bit of a greenness right around in here. 
just a little touch right up in there. And it's a little off right here. We can fix all this stuff on the layer mask itself. I'll start off down here. All I need to do is just to remove the green. And for that, let's go over here, grab this tool right here, and come down to the sponge tool and desaturate. Make sure you're on the image side. There we go. And then just brush over that. And that makes it just a straight black and white. In this case, he has a gray beard or black to gray beard. So that works out okay. And we'll just remove the color from that. And I'll move a little bit of color right from the edge of his collar in there. That's good. Now it's a little rough here still. We can work on that. But I think I'm just going to remove some of the color along up in this area here. Space bar. And it's a little rough right along this edge in here. So let's go ahead and change our colors to black and white. Go over to the layer mask side. You can paint on the layer mask. If you paint white, it's going to show. Black's going to hide, so let's reverse our colors. And let's go up to our brush tool. There we go. Change this to a hard edge. Like that. Check our brush size. It's pretty small. Let me bring that up a little bit. That's a pretty good brush size. And I just want to come in and just kind of tap a few of those little areas that are sticking out just a bit too much. Just a little quick cleanup like that. It doesn't need very much in here. We're zoomed in pretty tight. There we go. Same thing on the beard. I think I'll come in and just knock off just a little bit of that edge and bring that in tighter. There we go. Let's go up here and there's a little bit of of stuff up in here. Now you can freehand this, which is what I'll do, or you can come in and again make a protection mask on that and be a bit more careful with that edge. But I think this is all we really need here. Just a few little spots like that. And right up in here. You get these little problems when you're using that magic wand. It tends to have some issues which occasionally will cause this. There we go. Now let's check this side. Looks fine. Look good down here. Looking good over here. Okay, that's all fine. Let's now zoom back out. And let's change our background. If you want to keep your background in here, go to the background layer, right click, duplicate that layer again. And this is going to be my background safety. I'm just going to rename this safety. There we go. Background safety, just in case. The reason for that is we'll be using the graphics down here and changing our background here. I'm set at by type and also backgrounds. When you do this, it replaces that background. So you lose your back. So you don't want to have that happen. Let's just scroll down just a little bit, find something kind of interesting in down here that might work out well. I don't want a green background. We've already done that, but I want to have something with some greenishness to it. Let's try this random style here. And that looks real nice, real clean. Gives us a great background for our photo. We've removed that green screen and given us a new background. Now you can change any backgrounds you want in here. As you can see, lots of stuff to choose from. This one's really green. There we go. I don't really like that one as much. Let's try more of a blue look in here. I don't care for that grid pattern. So I'll go back to this one. And I think that's a good choice for this photo. Let's do a little adjustment on the values on the image itself. Go back here to layers. And we're on this layer up here. Go up to layer, come down to new adjustment layer and levels. Where it says use previous layer, check that, choose OK. Notice our lights are really down here. Let me just pull that up and we'll lighten up the image. And I think that looks a lot better in there. Let's try our midtones just up a little bit and maybe a bit more on the shadow side for some richness. There we go, just really improving our values. We'll hide that and show. And I think that's much better image right there. My channel is 100% fan supported. So if you want to help out, take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. Or consider supporting me over on Patreon. Again, a link for that is in the description. Check out my channel for a bunch more Photoshop Elements videos. And I'll see you next time.